Hello, thank you very much for watching this demonstration. This is a tool that allows you to plot multiple touchstone data and compare them with ADS simulated results. I will start with a very quick demo. I've downloaded the example I posted on Knowledge Center here on Linux running over VNC Viewer on Windows. Let's take a look at what are under the data directory. There are five S3P files. There is also one ADS data set named simulated.ds. The objective is to plot all these touchstone data along with this ADS simulated data on Linux. All I need to do is to type the name of the script start DDS and it will convert touchstone data to ADS data sets and then plot all data on the same charts. Now let's look at the data directory again. Recall that there was only one data set file. An ADS data set file has a .ds extension. Now, there are five more data set files that were converted from the touchstone data by the script. The script created these equations on the fourth page of the DDS window. All equations have a data set name dot dot prefix so they will not change when you change default data set. After these equations are created, they are used for plotting in the other three pages. The first page is mag or magnitude. It has plots of all the equations after applying the db function. Similarly, in the face page, all equations are applied with the phase function instead of the db function. On the third page, the Smith chart page, it simply plots the S parameter data directly in Smith charts. It is straightforward. You just need to put your touchstone data file under the data directory and run the start DDS script all touchstone data will be plotted on the same chart with any existing data set. These are S3P files. This script also works for any number of ports. Here I have three S4P files. I can run the same StarDDS script and add a, an argument for to indicate the number of ports. Just like what we saw with those S3P files, these four port touchstone data are converted into ADS data sets and then plotted on the same charts. You see that these are four port S parameter data equations magnitude, phase, and Smith chart. That's it. Very straightforward to do on Linux. If you use Linux, it would be great. However, I realized that many people would rather work on Windows. So I also came up with solutions for Windows. I have a SIGWIN version which I, is almost the same as Linux version, so I will not talk about it here. What I will go over is a Windows command prompt batch file solution. You can find the solution I posted on Knowledge Center. If you don't have a Knowledge Center account yet, please register with your company's email address. There are many good examples posted by many people over the last 20 years or so. If you use eSoft tools, uh, you will find Knowledge Center helpful. I'm going to the 
knowledge center you can type in keywords to search for solutions there are many tools in ADS in EESOF this is an ADS solution so I'm selecting ADS to narrow down and speed up the search this is a solution about touchstone and DDS so I'm searching SMP DDS this page with compare with title compare many S3P data and ADS data set in DDS is the solution after posting the solution I created another page called a process for creating custom DDS script which is a verbose version of this solution where I kept all intermediate revisions of the DDS script there are about 55 revisions you can compare one revision to the next to see how it evolved from a big inflexible script to a smaller more flexible and more readable one but for now uh, I'm only going to show how to use this simple tool and not how it was created so I'm going to open this compare many S3P data and ADS data set in DDS page the script is inside of the KSS3P WRK.7Z ADS archive click on the link to download it I'm placing it under C colon slash temp directory and ADS archive has 7Z ADS extension you always use ADS to open 7Z ADS file by the way another requirement of this tool was to plot data without starting ADS the reason I need to start ADS now is simply because I put scripts inside of this ADS archive and again I can only open ADS archive from ADS UI once I am archived the workspace I will be able to run the script without starting ADS to open a 7G ADS file go to the ADS main window select file an archive menu item browse to the 7G ADS file that I downloaded I also need to browse to my favorite destination directory otherwise ADS will unarchive the workspace to my ADS startup directory earlier you saw that I only typed start DDS to run the tool in the Linux environment I had set up three things before that I set ADS license file variable I also set HP software to ADS installation directory and I added $HP software slash bin to my path how do I verify that in Linux terminal type env pipe to grab dash i ads underscore that's my ads license file and then env pipe to grab minus i hbe software that's my ads installation directory which ADS will give me the full path to the ADS script which is under $HP software slash bin this is for Linux the next slide is for Windows command prompt where you also need to set ADS license file and HPE software I can set them in command prompt but I will do it in BAT file instead I will open a command window CD to my temp KS S3P WRK example workspace directory under the data directory there are some S3P files 
there is one ADS dataset file. These are the scripts to run, but before I run, I will set ADS license file and HP software in that .bat files. Where do I get ADS license file and HP software information? For ADS license file, open Tools, License Manager from ADS main window, to go to Environment section and find the value of the ADS license file variable. I'm going to open a SIGWIN terminal where I can work like in a Linux terminal so that I can edit the BAT files. After downloading the example, you must set ADS license file. Copy ADS license file value from license manager to the start dds.bat and snp to ds.bat script. Another thing that I need to change is HPEE software, which you can find from ADS Configuration Explorer. Select Tools Configuration Explorer in ADS main window. You can search for HP software variable. And then you can copy and paste the value into that BAT files if necessary. So that is all I need to do before running the script. CD to data directory type SNP to DS. It will convert all touchstone files to ADS data sets. Now go back up to the workspace directory type start DDS. All data sets are plotted on the same charts. This is exactly like what we saw on Linux earlier. Equations, magnitude, phase, and Smith's chart. Again, I will try it with touchstone data of different number of ports. Here I have three S4P files. There is no data set file, so I will run SMP to DS to convert touchstone files to ADS data sets. These are four port as parameter data, so I will add an argument after start DDS script 4 to indicate it being four port as parameter data. So that's it. To use it with your own data, just copy all touchstone files to the data directory, run SNP to DS to convert touchstone data to ADS data set, and then run start DDS to plot all data sets. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it will be useful for you.